Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in our Let's Play series. In the last episode, I showed you guys this area. He said I was going to mine a perimeter in one stream. And we did mine a perimeter, but it was not one stream. Yes, I underestimated the amount of blocks that were here. Uh, but to compensate that, the plan was to mine just to lava level. But uh, to compensate that we didn't do it in one stream, I removed all the lava in mind all the way to bedrock. Which is a good thing because you can see that we have these explosions here from uh, when I was mining ancient debris for the netherite beacon. So yeah, there were a lot of explosions inside the perimeter area here. And that would affect the heights of the farm. Which I didn't build the farm yet, of course, uh, because like I said, it took more than one string to mine it. So, yeah, I, I will build it this week. In next episode, for sure, we will have a skeleton farm. And we got a good suggestion during stream by Andrew from Narzil to uh, use this farm to farm bowls from the skeletons and use the auto crafter to craft the dispensers. Yeah, of course, we, we still don't have the crafter in the game, uh, but when we have it, we can add that to the farm. So, yeah, it will be a, a great idea. And I already have some ideas for uh, what to build the, uh, the farm here, but yeah, it will be next episode. Okay, I'm here at spawn on top of the cherry tree that looks like a cotton candy <laughs> to talk about it. some stuff I want to change or update before the world tour that uh, will be episode 125 so not next episode the next next and yeah there is a a little bit uh, just four things i need to uh, do so the first thing is the iron farm at spawn we have a secret entrance uh, that opens with spoke yeah there we go with a uh, spoke sensor and we have this area underneath here uh, if you guys don't know this is a bare biting sorter that uh oops that you can learn how to fly <laughs> no that you can change uh, the items you are sorting so for example here i was sorting stuff that uh, we were mining in the perimeter actually there might be a lot of stuff i need to move here yeah and we also have uh, some other stuff uh, here, like uh, this egg farm, producing lots of eggs. Uh, because we're going to use eggs for the Vault Hunter mini games. And this is a trunk loader for the Nether mob switch. And the thing we need to update is on this wall here. That is our iron farm. That is also working well. But uh, I need to drink this potion. And if we take a look here, yeah, it looks very bad. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, I want to build the walls here to look it, uh, a little bit better. That's the, the only thing we need to update here. I'm probably going to just use this uh, stone blocks or maybe frog lights on the floor. Yeah, so... Uh, I will add that. Uh, we will eventually need to update the star shoe uh, to auto craft the iron blocks. But for now, all I need to do is make the walls, which I, I hope I will do and show you guys next episode. And the second thing we have in the book here is the puffer fish farm portal. Because we made a puffer fish farm, I'm actually gonna fly there without cutting just so you guys see that it's not that far from the spawn we go through the, the last netherrack temple here and then we have the alays islands and it's right behind the alays islands here just a few uh, blocks away so we don't really need another portal here but i like having nether portals to uh, most farms so i think i'm just gonna do a, a nether portal in this wall here 
need to make another tunnel to come here and also we need a, a banner for this place because we have a, a banners for all the builds in the world and i don't have a banner for this place yet <laughs> okay now we are here at the winter skeleton farm perimeter to we'll talk about another thing i want to change that is not actually here uh, but we we need it to be here to talk about why i want to change uh, that that i will show soon <laughs> i know it's a little bit confusing but trust me you will understand so this uh, farm here uh, at first i built it myself and it was an okay farm you know it worked we got with their schools and all that and then i updated the headstone let's see if i can enter here and yeah i changed the headstone to be atrus winter farming that uses uh pumpkins in those dispensers and these uh, slimy blocks conveyor belts that pushes the skeletons there and all that uh, and in my first episode in this series i made some goals and uh, rules i guess and one of the rules was that I was going to try to make my own designs. And, well, this is designed by Tetra, not me. So, yeah, I, I do have uh, some other stuff that's not designed by me. For example, here we have the Shoker Farm designed by Ending Credits. Let's go through the portal. There we go, we have the Shoker Farm designed by Indie Credits. And uh, I think the other big example uh, of uh, something I didn't design in my world is uh, the Iron Farm having the end that was designed by Nambo. But those three, the Iron Farm, the Shoker Farm and the Wither Farm, I'm not going to change anything because I, I have uh, good reasons to have these farms uh, maybe one thing i might do is actually decorate this farm because it doesn't have any decoration here but yeah that's not the point the point is uh this farm has some meaning uh, to me at least because uh first of all when i started this world i spent 33 hours in the end uh, farming shulker shells <laughs> so i i think i i i deserve it right it takes less than 33 hours to build this farm and uh, i i spent that just in the busting uh, when shulker farms didn't exist yet and also this farm has the shulker cannon there that was designed by fairly hard uh, a good friend of our channel here so that's oh, another uh, reason to keep this farm uh, same with the winter farm it was designed by tetra that is a, a good friend of the channel so that's a uh, another good reason to keep the farm and name bones oh my night vision is running off and uh, yeah name bones are on farm I will keep it because even uh, the farm I designed, for example, at spawn, the iron farm I designed at spawn, has Nambo influences because uh, I think uh, everyone that designs iron farms have watched the Nambo's iron farm explanation video uh, from 1.14 and above that he explains everything about the uh, iron spawning, uh, iron golem spawning mechanic. So. <laughs> Any iron farm I built in the world, I will have it to, to give some credit to Nambon for uh, teaching me how to, to make iron farms. So why not have his iron farm in my world too? Uh, and also that iron farm in the end, I, I really don't use that iron farm too often. I'm pretty sure I got way more iron from the, the farm I, ha I used to have at spawn and this new one farm we have now at spawn. Oh yeah, anyways, I am have been mumbling for five minutes to talk about something that I, I didn't even talk about yet. 
let's go to the actual place I need to change. Okay, after five minutes of mumbling about this stuff, we are finally here at the 420 by 420 perimeter. And here is uh, the thing I want to change because of that rule that I said I, I needed to design everything myself. And, well, if there is a project that I deserved <laughs> the effort that I did was this one, right? I mined the everything, I flossed all the bedrock, and I even designed this uh, Get this blaze farm using gas pushers. Obviously, I, I didn't come up with the idea of using uh, gas using mine cars to push uh, mobs. Uh, I saw this idea on a very old uh, server called the Miner Min Minerva Serve Min Minerva Server. I think it's a server that I don't even think it exists anymore. Uh, was from a channel uh, from someone that's that was called the Mr. Uh, no, Mr. Beast. It, it's not the Mr. Beast. It's it's, it's someone else, uh, and I think he, he still uh, has a YouTube channel, but only plays other games now. No Minecraft anymore. Uh, yeah, and uh, I think it was Minecraft one dot. 11 or 1.12 and they did a, a farm just like this in the fortress but uh, uh, their farm was for wither skeletons, blazes, piglings pretty much all the uh, fortress mobs not just blazes so that's where I got this inspiration on. but uh, I'm still mumbling about stuff that don't, don't uh, matter the point is this big box here. Yeah, this is a uh, music. Uh, let me play this. Yeah, so, uh, this is a giant uh, note block machine that plays the Sandstorm music. And I bought this from a YouTuber. Yeah, I got this from a YouTuber named the Ultra Smurf. I will leave a link in the description. I left a link in the description when we showed this uh, on episode 72, I think it was. Uh, and I even added my my own twist to this, that I added all these dispensers that dispense fireworks. And they are loaded, they need each other. Crafting more fireworks and saying the mining cart. But I, I do have another idea for a firework show that I want to do uh, using the auto crafter, so we're gonna have to wait for that to auto craft the fireworks. Uh, but the point I'm trying to get for the last 10 minutes is that I could never design. A music like this not even if I was trying to design first in creative or anything I just I don't have the the music talent uh, this is this is not my medium I'm an artist by the way but the music is not my medium my medium is why the people else emotes yeah and I also don't come here very often to play this music so I will uh, destroy these and uh, hopefully, hopefully next episode uh, we will have a, a little bit of a different uh, thing here. I guess if I destroy that I might have to destroy these soldiers here or unless I, I build something else, we will see. But yeah, I I don't I just don't want this music box here. And uh, yeah, it's not that I don't think I deserve or anything like that. Like I said, I, I did so much effort here that uh, you know it it's justifiable to not go through the effort of designing the music just popping from 
uh, someone uh, on YouTube, but and I, I mean, I did the copy, but I also did the credit. But yeah, the big problem here is uh, I did the set that rule that I wouldn't uh, the, or that I would try to keep my own designs and even uh, though there is some other stuff I just showed that I didn't design they have uh, some meaning for me and this is just a thing that I thought was cool and copied from YouTube there is not really much meaning so <laughs> yeah but uh, I mean not to uh, degrading the work it's uh, amazing work by uh, Ultra Smurf I recommend you guys checking uh, the video and uh, I think there is a lot of other uh, Minecraft note block music is in his channel so you might you might want to check that show but yeah uh, it's a really cool thing but not a, a, a thing I want to have in my world because I kind of want my world to be mine right so would have it only stuff I designed or that has some meaning uh, for me. Okay, so that is it. Minus one sandstorm. Hopefully, I will update this in the next episode. I guess we won't have it. Do 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 anymore. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, do 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 Okay, I will stop. Let's go for the last thing in the book here. Okay, so here we are on the last thing we need to update in the book here. That is the planets update. So uh, we are running into a, a little bit of a problem. That is, I built this planets room to uh, kind of celebrate every block I mined more than a million times. And the piglings that we have killed more than a million times too. But uh, yeah, I kind of mind the more blocks so, uh, the two blocks that we passed a million are uh, sandstone and the uh, deep slate that we technically don't have a planet or a display to count that but we do have sandstone in the sandy planet and we do have deep slate in the stone planet so we could just add the displays there to county or maybe add another planet here and here. Uh, the problem is, uh, oh, by the way, we, we got to 18 million, 856 uh, netherrack from that perimeter. Uh, yeah, and the problem is there is other stuff that I will eventually get to a million like a black stone for sure dirt probably moss probably so sanding so soil for sure because i i do want to mine more uh, perimeters in the nether and we are already mining a 400 by 400 perimeter in the overworld uh, still very early stages i think we are at layer 57 or something like that so I think what I'm going to update here is, uh, first of all, I'm going to place something around this hole to make it easier to see, because when I don't have an IT vision, it's so hard to find this where we drop down. <laughs> and I will remove the displays and just leave a lectern with a book here, and we will update the book with the stats of all the 1 million stuff we mined and all that. And we want to build the planets for the other stuff. Because like for example, we have those moons for black stone and soul soil. So most of the blocks we eventually will get to 1 million are already represented here. Uh, because otherwise I would have to expand this and it's not like I don't want to grind, I don't want to mine and expand this room. <laughs> this room is literally about the, the grind, right? But uh, I don't think it would look uh, that great. So the update is I, I, I'm going to do here is just going to remove the, the displays and place a book 
on a lectern with the book here and we will show the stats on the book instead of the displays it probably will even look better because the displays sometimes might look out of place or so everything being just a black uh, concrete background probably will look better but yeah thank you everyone for watching i hope you guys like this episode i know it's a episode i talked too much about uh, a lot of stuff and didn't really show anything other than a big hole in the nether but <laughs> it's fine it's fine guys we, uh, oh i will show you something cool look at this you made it to the end of the video there is a, a cool thing here uh, where is the uh, i actually brought more uh more cars for to to update this first try please i'm sorry i'm trying to end the video oh my god oh there we go first try look at this we are in space it's so cool f1 oh my god we made it to the end of the video it's so cool we are in space space